Okay, so I want to talk about how you're going to invite people to your virtual party. So I've done a lot of parties. Um, I've done over a thousand parties. And so I really figured out along the way what the best way to have a really successful party is. And part of that is the invitation process. So we really want to aim to have between 30 and 50 people in our Facebook group. This is gonna help you have a really dynamic party with lots of interaction. And typically about half the people who attend your party are going to place orders. So that's gonna help you hit that you know $1,000, $600, any of those show goals that you may have for the host rewards that you'd like to receive. So you're gonna to wanna to start with inviting your friends. I always tell people no one is ever offended to be invited to something. They're only ever offended to not be invited to something. So err on the side of inviting someone. Don't worry about if it's someone who you haven't spoken to in a while. I know that can feel uncomfortable, but I'm telling you, you never know who just had that frustrating experience of a spatula breaking or who's been needing a whisk or something like that. And people can always decline to join the event. So when you invite people to join the group, they're not automatically added into the group. They have to decide to be a part of the party. So you're never um, you know, annoying someone or anything like that by inviting them. So don't be afraid to invite a lot of people. And also don't be afraid to invite men as well. I often find we, we kind of scroll past the guys, but they cook too and they love to be in the kitchen and they're interested in the products as well. So absolutely include them in your invitation list. Um, so once you invite people, like I said, they're going to be invited through a notification to join the group. However, because of how many notifications you always get day to day, I mean, you can probably think of how many you get each day. Sometimes those can get missed. So a really smart thing to do is to send a private message to the people who um, haven't joined the group yet. And you can see this under the members section of um, the group like settings and that area of things. And if they're still in the previewing mode, you can send them a quick message and you can include the link to the party group, which you can just grab at the top and send that to them. And they can actually join the group right from that private message. It's really slick and easy for them and for you. And you're gonna see a much higher number of people attending your party this way. The other thing that you can do is post the link to the Facebook group on your Facebook wall. And again, people can join right from that post. They don't have to go into the group and then hit join like they do through a notification uh, invitation. So this is a really smart thing to do. And again, you never know who's looking for a consultant or who has been wanting to place an order and just haven't been invited to a party yet. So this is a really smart thing to do. Um, the other thing that I always encourage my virtual hosts to do is not forget your friends and family who aren't on Facebook. Of course, sometimes people have like written off Facebook altogether for whatever reason. So, but we don't want to disclude them if there's something that they wanted to participate in, whether it's the fun or they're ordering or anything like that. So think of your friends who either don't have Facebook or who, um, haven't been on Facebook recently. And you can do this through sending them a text message. You can either send them to group, the group um, from the Facebook link if they have a Facebook account that they just don't go on very often, or you can send them a link to the actual party, like the party link from Pampered Chef. If they don't have Facebook and if you wanted to see if they needed anything or something like that. If they're interested in getting content like recipes and stuff like that, let me know. And I can provide that for them through a text message rather than on Facebook where um, they might not see it. So um, I hope that was helpful. Again, you want to have between 30 and 50 people in your group for this to be the most successful. Um, and I find that most of my hosts are inviting 100 and 150 people to the party in order to get that number. And no matter what, your party is gonna be an absolute blast. Um, so I'm excited for it and let me know if you're experiencing any challenges with this or if you have any questions or concerns, I will be happy to address them. So I hope that was helpful.